hundreds of aggrieved customers of defunct Gold Coast Fund Management who have their investments locked up due to government's revocation of the company's license are demanding payment. They say if the government fails to refund their monies, the group will campaign against Vice President Baumia in the upcoming elections. Here's more in this report. Former Finance Minister Ken Oferiata supervised a banking sector cleanup from mid 2017 to January 2020 in a bid to restore confidence in the banking and specialized deposit taking sector. The government said the action was one of the contributory factors for the country's high debt stock. The cleanup saw a reduction in the number of banks from 34 to 23, whilst 347 microfinance institutions, 15 savings and loans, and eight finance houses had their lanterns revoked. Gold Coast Fund Management is one of the financial companies that was affected by the exercise. This has resulted in the funds of customers being locked up for over six years. The affected customers are decrying that the effects of their locked up funds have left them in dire psychological and medical conditions. Look, look, you see my eye. I'm infirmity. I have glaucoma. Every month I buy drugs worth 500 Ghana cities. And still I don't have money to do it. How do I uh, survive? Do you want me to die? Government, do you want me to die? Why I have money? Let me declare it. And you're ready now to do it. Anka, 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 Convener of aggrieved customers of Gold Coast Fund Management, Charles Nyami, says efforts to rest the issue and get repayments for faulted customers have proven unsuccessful. The only authorities that we are in touch with is the House of Parliament. We petitioned them. We were called. The Finance Ministry were also invited, and the, as well as the Security Nation Commission. They have uh, they, they've, they've ended the public uh, public hearing. They are yet to come out with their report and recommendation. But apart from that, people are still dying. As we wait for the report, people are still dying. People go to bed with empty stomach every day. People's educational hope is still hanging to attend universities because the very money their parents set aside for their future education is locked up for six years. Leaders of the group are given the government and financial authorities a three-month ultimatum or face their collective vote power against the current governing new patriotic party. The point we are making is we are tired. We are not going to do, I beg you, Dr. Baumi, I beg you, Eko I beg you, Kenovo. We are not going to do that any longer. We are not begging them. We are telling them our stand, our, 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 our stand. That is, if by June 30th, 2024, we do not see our payment, we are a very organized group and we are going to position ourselves as a solid political body to campaign against Dr. Baumia and the MPP. Ashanti region alone, we have all uh, 10,000 of our members in Ashanti region.